The Caddis are coming. All right, get ready, because the Caddis, my friends, are coming. That's right, here in just a few days will be the opening day of trout season in western Pennsylvania. Behind me is the Neshanic Creek. This is my home stretch of water, and I know this water very well. And the other thing I know is that the Caddis will be everywhere uh, coming first day of, of trout season. So I'm looking forward to a good season here. Uh, this is closed for trout fishing now. That's why I'm not fishing today. Uh, this is not a delayed harvest section uh, in Pennsylvania. Although uh, the Shannon Creek uh, from Volant downstream to the covered bridge uh, is delayed harvest and actually Keystone Select Trout Waters. Uh, this section upstream is uh, closed during uh, this time of year. So that's why I'm not fishing now. It kind of works out perfect because I got to get uh, this little sidewalk project done in my backyard here this week. But uh, I'll be ready in time for opening day and we'll be ready for uh, the, the Granum Caddis Hatch. It's starting behind me now. You can start seeing it fluttering. There's those caddis fluttering around. And uh, yep, there go. There they go. And uh, we'll be looking forward to a, a good season. So stay tuned. I'll be showing you different spots and holes here on the Nishanik to fish. Uh, it's open to, open to the public with uh, permission from the landowners here. And uh, it's a good stretch of water. Looking forward to the season. Well, that's exactly what I didn't want to happen to my front yard. You see what I just did? See, I was trying to be all clever with my camera and take some footage of the spring around here, and look what I did to my front yard. So not only do I have a sidewalk to fix this evening, or this week before trout season starts, but now I gotta fix my front yard. Gosh, man, I hate when I make bonehead moves like that. Completely tore up my yard. Ugh. There was a caddis on that stick, Gia would eat it. Corn flakes and buttermilk. Now I gotta go get corn flakes and buttermilk. I'm never gonna make it to trout season. I got my yard to fix, my sidewalk to finish, and now I gotta go get corn flakes and buttermilk. But that's all right, cause the caddis are coming. All right, just pulled into uh, the local supermarket around here and to get my corn flakes and buttermilk and look what landed on my windshield. Yeah, that my friends, we got it. The caddis are coming. <laughs> hey puppy, hey, hey there, hi, how are you? Hey, guess what, guess what? The caddis are coming, yep. Hey, Robert Francis Phillips, do you know that the caddis are coming? The what? The caddis. You know what a caddis is? What? A caddis fly. What? A caddis fly. Do you know that the caddis are coming? Kind of, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the caddis flies are coming. Are they? Yes, they are. <laughs> you watch out for them. What? They'll be all around. They come every once in a while. Oh, oh. They come every spring. Every spring? Yep. are coming. The caddis are coming. The caddis are coming. <laughs> All right. Another equipment malfunction. The uh, tire on my wheelbarrow here, yep, completely flat. So that pile of rocks isn't going anywhere real fast. 
Gotta go find my son and see where the pump is. Get that thing pumped up. Thought I might find my air pump down here in the basement. But look what else I found. The caddis. The caddis are coming. 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 The caddis are coming. You see that hillside in the background right there? That's right above the Nishanik Creek. And down in that valley is where? The caddis will be coming. The caddis are coming. All right, the caddis are coming. And when they do come, I'll be down over the hill and I'll be looking into my fly box for that perfect caddis pattern. I'll have to match the hatch. The exact same skill is needed in the last hour and a half of daylight right now to take the rest of these flagstone and to match them perfectly in this space that I have remaining. So I got another five or six feet plus a little spot over there to uh, finish this sidewalk project this evening. And I gotta match the flagstone to the remaining area. All right, there's some deer running through my backyard right now. Look, there they go. The caddis are coming! The caddis are coming! Do deer eat caddis? I don't think so. So the caddis, I think, are granums. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. I looked into that a couple years ago. And the granums are, uh, they're, they're crawlers. There's, I think two types of caddis. There's the uh, swimming, free, free uh, swimming caddis, and then there's uh, those emerge up out of the water and then fly away. And then there's the crawlers, uh, and they uh, they crawl out of their uh, up on the rocks and things. And uh, so I think the granums. I uh, might have to get back to you on that, or somebody correct me in the comments here below. The granums are crawlers, so you see them crawling up along the edge of the river. Uh, yeah, granums, granum caddis, they're coming. All right, done, sidewalk project, done. The caddis are coming. So, uh, I'm putting my tools away this evening. Just got my sidewalk project all finished up, putting my tools away. And as I'm unloading my shovels, I realize that even my shovels that I use for my sidewalk project remind me that the caddis are coming. Take a look. So first, here, uh, this is uh, my nice little edging shovel, okay? I got this from my dad, old shovel. It's probably my grandfather's, actually. And this thing's probably 50, maybe 60, years old uh, and I was just down visiting my dad recently and he he gave it to me and said you know he didn't have a use for it so I got it now and I used it to make the straight edge uh, between the grass and my sidewalk and so now you see the nice serrated edge there and why does this remind me of the caddis that the caddis are coming because that's where you will see the caddis most of the time right along the edge of the creek in the riverbank in the brushes in the bush in the bushes uh, so the edging shovel reminds me that the caddis are coming. Put that one away. Next is my head shovel here. This is just an old shovel. It actually needs a handle. I broke it. 
Um, I gotta work on that. It's just an old plastic synthetic handle. It's not really worth anything, but I, I like to use it because it's short and I can get my, my weight behind it. And I used this this evening when I was filling up my wheelbarrow with the rocks. And so this is my rock shovel. And that is often, if you don't see the caddis along the edge of the river or the creek, you will often find them along and on the rocks out in the river. Uh, I think the granums, as I was saying earlier, are crawlers, and so they crawl up out of the rocks, they dry off on the rocks, out on the river, and then they fly away. So that is uh, why my flathead rock shovel, flat shovel, reminds me that the caddis are coming. And then lastly, this is the best, you're gonna love it. Ready? So I'm putting my spade shovel away, and my spade shovel absolutely reminds me of a caddis because it's actually shaped like a caddis. Now check this out right here, okay? You see that indentation on the back of my spade shovel? That is like looking down on a caddis fly. If you have a caddis fly fly and land on your waders or land on your jacket or your rod, okay, and you see this elongated triangular shape, that my friends is a caddis fly. The only thing this is missing is, look at that, we'll give this some antennas. Look, it's a caddis fly. That's a wrap for tonight. Sidewalk project's done. Four days to spare. Can't wait for opening day trout season. The caddis and I will be down there and I'll be, uh, jo you'll be joining me. I'll, I'll bring you along. So stay tuned to the River Vibe. Thanks for watching. And remember, <laughs> the caddis are coming. Whoops, <laughs> well, this is my son's, check that out. Uh, yep, caddis fly.